The chances are, many of you don't know we can make those beautiful gradient effects quite easily in P5.js. There are three types of them if you learn those stuff that's gonna boost your creativity. Okay, I just put it a rectangle in draw function. At above, I set the color mode to HSV, rect mode to center. So to use the gradient effect, first I assign this function create linear gradient to this variable. Inside that, we set four arguments, start and end point of the gradient. For now, I set like from top left to bottom right of this rectangle. Next, we set the colors. This zero and one means start and end point of the gradient. For now, I set pinkish color to the start, blue color to the end. Lastly, we assign the data to this property drawing context fill style. Let's reload it. Yeah, we got this. How easy it is. If we change this fill style to stroke style, then draw a thick stroke instead. Yeah, we get effect on the stroke. Okay, these gradient stuff, they are actually not uh, P5 functions, but are part of HTML Canvas API. The Canvas API has method to draw shapes like rect, ellipse, arc, yeah. So they usually be used in plain JavaScript like this. But since the shape functions of P5.js is actually just a high level library of the Canvas API, so we can also use the function directly in this P5 environment. We already implemented a linear gradient, so it requires a field change to switch to the radial gradient. So at first, let's make the gradient part into a function. Let's pass all the parameter we need through those arguments so we can free control from this draw function. Make sure it's still working. Okay. I copy the function, rename to radial gradient. We put six arguments, which are x, y, and radius of the start and end gradient circles. I set the origin of the two circle as center, then set the radius as 0 and 350. Lastly, I change the shape to ellipse, then Return to fill style. Hmm. I change the color a little bit. Hmm. Nice. Let's move the center of the two circles to top left so that looks more interesting. Hmm. Beautiful. Yeah, this is what I want. Okay, the last one is this conic gradient. Actually, this feature was added very recently on the Canvas API, so currently the browser options are limited. At this moment, I confirm it works on latest version of Safari and Firefox, but doesn't on Google Chrome. Get error says that the function is undefined. If we go to Google Chrome page, it says they will add 9 features, including the conic gradient, from at version 99. At this moment, the latest version is 96, so I assume we will get the conic gradient on Google Chrome as well in the near future. So, for now, I switch to the Firefox. I already made a function for a conic gradient. This requires three arguments, the origin point and start angle. Okay, uh, at the above, for now, I set the origin as center and start angle to zero. If I change this angle to something like pi, yeah, then the start point shift 180 degrees. I want to have gradient like start from orange, gradually become blue, then return to orange. In that case, we add one more color between the two. Okay, in this case, 0.5 means at 180 degrees. I set the start and end point to orange, 
they middle to blue. Yep, let's even add more colors. Hmm, nice. Oh, with this conic gradient, you might want to use the stroke style. Hmm, personally, I like this way. You can actually layer multiple gradient to blend the effect. In this example, I'm using four radial gradients with different colors. In each gradient, I set the opacity of the end color to zero, so they look nicely blended at the center. So, let me comment out some of the um, ellipse. Yeah, you see that? Another example here, I mixed the linear and radial gradient. I made a linear gradient vertically, then overlay radial one from top right. That's creating a little bit more interesting detail. Or combine radial and conic gradient in this way. Yeah, you can create various visual effects with three gradient effects. I'd like you to experiment around it, then apply on your own creative works. And furthermore, there are other special effects you can easily get in P5.js. I have a video implement this beautiful glow effect. So maybe I see you in that video. Thank you.